Hey guys, how you doing today? Fix It Pros here. Uh, today we have a Motorola G52024. Uh, this one came in. The screen was all messed up. You can see that. So we're gonna fix this one today, and let's get to it. Okay, uh, I kind of preheat this already. You're gonna see that if you can just get a blade or a Sesmo underneath here. I kind of like preheated or this is gonna be a lot easier um, just be careful not to dig in too deep so you're gonna go all the way around and there's gonna be some adhesive especially under here so just be very careful M mainly around these cameras so I don't like using heat heat guns because then they'll uh, you know you can mess up the camera so a little bit of isopropyl alcohol that always helps and just be careful there's no fingerprint on this one so you don't have to worry about that so anyways that opens up then you're here, and then we'll start uh, opening up these, uh, taking out these screws. Okay, so here we go. We'll take these screws out. I'll kind of just pause this video for a second, and we'll get to the last part. Okay, so there you go. I removed all the screws. Everyone was the same except this last silver one right there, so you don't have to worry about it. So now take your Sesmo uh, well, first. Take your SIM tray out. You can use those poppers. I like using a blade. Okay, take that out. Now we're going to take our Sesmo. Let's put the screen off to the side. Oh, and we did get the full frame assembly. I like to use these where it's not just the LCD. It's a little more work, but I don't know. I kind of like it because it's cleaner. You don't have to worry about like you know if you don't glue in the LCD correctly. I like to get all this way from the factory. That way it's nice and sealed. And then if there's a problem, you can just pop everything out. The other way, you have to glue it in, and there's issues sometimes, but it all depends. Um, so we have it here. We'll leave it to the side. So now, let's go ahead and take our Sesmo, and we can just start, you know, going in here to the sides. Don't dig too deep, especially by the volume and the uh, power button. Okay, you don't want to break those cables. So we'll go ahead all the way around. And we should be good from there. Pop this off. Okay. Shake it. Oh, we got one more bolt. Look at that. Missed one right there. Okay. There we go. Okay. There you go. Be care oh, yeah. Be careful not to rip this out too quickly because there is the uh, power button flex cable connected right there. We're gonna use a plastic tool. Try to use plastic tools. Uh, what I like to do first is try to disconnect the battery. Okay, disconnect the battery right there. And then go ahead and disconnect that. All right, we'll put that off to the side. And now we're here, and let's go ahead and disconnect all the other cables. There's the LCD cable. And then we can go ahead, because we're gonna take every, we're gonna transfer everything out. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything out of here. Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. So let's disconnect these. This is the uh, the charging port cable connected. So and you'll see that there that this there's two flex cables. One's connected for the LCD, and this one powers the motherboard. Okay. I don't know what that button is right there just yet, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and disconnect this. This is the speaker. Careful not to dig in. I like to just kind of go off to the side here and see where we can get in here. I don't like digging in by the mo by the charging port, especially those tiny little chips around there. You never know. Usually there's like a little. Sp there we go. Okay, boom. There you go. That's the speaker. Just in case you need to just replace the speaker, it's pretty easy. Same thing with the charging port. Um, you know, this is just this will pop out here. In case you just need to change the charging port, disconnect the battery. Do up to here. Change the charging port. You know, move, be careful taking these little antennas off. You don't want to break the you know break the connector from the charging port. You don't have to place the charging port. So I don't like to disconnect everything here. I like to just leave it in place. So I'm just gonna pull this out carefully. Okay. And always be careful because sometimes these things are like really glued in and you end up ripping the uh, antenna from the actual little socket here. Then you got to get a replacement one. Okay, 
So now that's disconnected. Now this is like kind of glued down to this little bronze foil. So try to lift that up. Okay. And then we can go in and find a little space here to open up that motherboard. There is a little paste, like some thermal paste. So that's going to be hold down. It's going to hold down your motherboard. So I like to take everything off here. We'll put this off to the side. Um, I like to maybe put it somewhere where, you know, that it's not going to have any static. So I put on this like foam thing that it came with, put that off to the side. Okay. Uh, next we got to heat up. We got to take everything out. We got to transfer everything over. So I'm going to heat this up. Uh, I like to use isopropyl alcohol, uh, for the battery. Be careful with these Motorola batteries. They super glue them in like really, really tough more than Samsung's. And I've had one explode on me. So be very careful. Use heat, use isopropyl alcohol, you know, just let the heat, let, you know, let the alcohol soak in there. Sometimes it takes a little while. That's why I'll pause the video when we do that. Cause I punctured one one time and I didn't take the motherboard out. The whole phone caught on fire. I had to replace the whole phone. So anyways, um, just be careful with that. Okay. So let's, we'll be right back. Okay, so as I'm heating the battery, uh, I'm gonna remove a couple of these things here. So this, you know, there'll be like a little flap you'll get underneath here. And then you can pull out the vibrator, place that in the board in a second. And then on, over here as well, you might have to use a little razor blade to get underneath here. So just be a little careful. Start lifting that up. Just gently lift that up. Okay. And then here, let's be a little careful as well. See if you can kind of get under here. Let's see that. I don't like to use isopropyl alcohol here because that way it keeps the adhesive stays intact. And then the last one is this one. Careful with these speakers, popping them out. Let's see here. Sometimes you gotta use a little heat gun. Take a little heat gun. Not too much. Just enough. There we go, see? Now we can take this guy out. Just careful. There you go. Okay. Awesome, I'm gonna put this back on here and I'll put all these parts in there okay let's go ahead while that's getting heated up let's go ahead and put these guys back in so we're gonna put the vibrator back in here it's just like putting a puzzle back together it's pretty easy self-explanatory I didn't put that in right <laughs> give me a second all right there we go let's put this in correctly There you go. There's like these little metal dots. You just line those up. The speaker should be fine. And then let's go ahead and put in that top speaker. Same thing. Let's line this up first. Okay. Usually there's some adhesive already, so you don't have to worry about re-gluing it back on. Let's see if I can put this in better. Good. Little guy spinning. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and put this guy back here. Maybe straighten that out a little bit, the foil. Because it's got to make contact. Otherwise, the volume and the power button, oh, uh, the volume button won't work. Oh, wrong space. There we go. Am I going in the right place? I'm in the wrong place. Wrong way. 
<laughs> there we go. Okay. You're probably going to have to put a little bit of B7000 glue. But let's go ahead and put this guy in first. There's little tiny metal holes right there. They'll line it up. We're probably, probably going to have to use a little B7000. Let me get some. Hey guys, sorry about that. I could not find any fresh tube for B7000. I found this old one. Still had a lot of, little bit of glue left in it. So, let's just pour some on there. Okay. Might have to like keep your finger on there just so it holds still for a little bit. Of course, that part's starting to pop off. Mm -hmm. Just have to hold that there for a little bit. All right. Okay, so we did heat this up. We did use a little isopropyl alcohol. I'll put a little bit more in there right now. And you just want to gently lift this up, okay? Until it lifts up all by itself almost. There you go. Okay. Then you don't want to dig in too deep because you'll pull that cable out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this cable out. We're gonna have to transfer that over here now too. Okay, so pretty much everything is taken off of this board. Uh, you can give it like a once over. See if anything else is necessary. So we gotta move this over a little bit. Make sure that's lined up, there you go. Okay, and then we can go ahead and put that away and we can start transferring this over. Probably put the motherboard motherboard in first. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Alrighty, let's uh, get this tape out. So the battery. And let's get the oop, don't want to drop that too hard. Let's get the charger port in here. At the bottom. Okay. Let's connect that in there. One second. There you go. So that's connected in there now. Let's get that motherboard in. Remember the uh, white wire, I believe, was down first. Could have been the other way, but we'll see. Yeah, I think it was the white one. Yep. Okay, now let's get our motherboard in. Sometimes you got to put this in at an angle. Let's see what we got here. Careful. Got a flex cable here. Give us a second. Okay, so basically you just have to kind of angle that in to clear that. Okay, so now we're here. What is next? All right. All the cables are in. All that's down. Everything's here. Uh, there should be a some tape over here. Let's get this going and then I like to clip this in first instead of trying to fool around with getting the flex cable and then I like to just kind of run my finger this way and then create the crease there so this is nice and flat 
And let's go ahead and put these in too. Make sure that this is up and this says sub. I don't know if you can see that, but it says sub. That goes on the, obviously the sub board, which is this charger, which is the charging port. Alrighty. Same thing here. Let's get these connected. That way, I don't mess that up. Okay, here we go. Now, let's go ahead and put our battery in. There's some tape there, some double tape already on here. Let's go ahead and tape that in. And let's move this, it's gonna be for our speaker. Alrighty. Let's go ahead. Pop this in here. Okay, it's back there. Bada bing, bada bang. And now let's put our our battery in. And let's put in the other part. What was the other part? The other part is this part right here. So we'll clip this in here. We're almost done. Okay, I like to test the phone first so the battery's already connected. Let's go ahead. Let's see if this has uh, juice on it first. Oh, we can just clip this, press this here. There we go. Actually, there's no juice on here. So, but I can show you that it's working. Or at least there's a charge. There you go, showing the charge. So we're gonna have to charge this up. But anyways, we'll let it charge up and we'll put all the bolts back in. So in the meantime, uh, just reverse it. Just go ahead and go in on an angle. We'll clear those, uh, the volume buttons, okay? Clear all that. Snap all those in. And it's pretty much easy peasy from here. I'll go ahead and put all those bolts in and I'll show you what I do next. And there we go ahead and put in the last of our bolts. And we should be all set. Okay, then the last thing is um, I use a little B7000 glue to smear on the rest of here. I usually kind of just go from there and then I go ahead and glue that down. And that's pretty much it, folks. And there you have it. Let's see if we got any juice. Let's see if this is powering up at all. Still dead. But anyways, there you go. You have it. There we go. It's starting to power on. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it helps somebody. Let me know if you have any questions um, about where we get the screens and stuff from. Maybe I can help you out with that. Uh, Thanks again, Fix It Pros. Please sub, uh, subscribe and like. Have a great day. Thank you.